This is a review of the uh, TFT color monitor and it shows how to uh, set it up with a 12 volt uh, adapter so that you can plug it into the wall um, and this way you can connect it up to a Raspberry Pi uh, computer or anything else you want to for that matter. Uh, but this is uh, was primarily focused for using a Raspberry Pi. Also, too, this is for the uh, seven-inch version of the uh, TFT color monitor. Now, the color monitor was designed to connect to a 12-volt car battery, but uh, you know you don't want it for the car battery. You want it to use it for your computer, and so you need a power uh, source. And of course, the most convenient is your wall outlet. And uh, in order to do that, you need to get a 12 volt AC to DC um, converter. Now you may have one lying around the house. If you go and you check your old uh, uh, converters, uh, you may find one uh, that's uh, 12 volt. It's, it's important that it's 12 volts. And if you know a lot about electronics, you can probably make some other kinds of adjustments. But uh, if you're like me and you're really not a hardware person, uh, stick with a 12 volt one or, or what I did I went down and got it at Radio Shack. Now the particular one I got has a uh, connector on it and it uh, has a female connection. Uh, yours may have a different kind of connector uh, on it already if you have one laying around the house <clears throat> and if it does what you want to do is again this is something you probably get at Radio Shack or wh whatever electronic store that you use uh, so that it will uh, be able to use whatever connection you have. Now in this particular case uh, what I got was something that makes again this is, makes it very simple for somebody who's really not uh, big with electronics and that is uh, something that they call the adapter plug. Now the adapter plug has a male connector on the end of it that you can plug into the female connector and uh, then on the other end it has two uh, bare wires and the uh, black wire with a red, uh, I'm sorry, with the um, white running down it uh, connects up to the red wire coming from the monitor and then the black wire connects up to the black wire so it, it's all pretty simple. There, there are three wires that you will find on the uh, monitor. One is red, one is black, and one is blue. Um, what I did with the blue one, I just looped it around and then taped it up with some electrical tape to get it out of the way. There's, there's uh, some things you can do with that, but uh, like I said, um, I'm not uh, much of a electronics hardware guy, so I just stuck with the basics, and that's the positive and negative leads. Um, I soldered those uh, to, together. Uh, the positive, of course, goes with the positive, and the negative with the negative, and so, uh, and then wrapped them up with electrical tape, as you can see. Uh, here's a little closer of it. The, uh, again, the coming from the adapter, you want the, uh, be sure to get the positive connector to the positive one. Uh, you take the male connector and you plug it into the female connector and that's it. You're all set to plug in your, uh, your color monitor. The only thing about this that you have to be careful about uh, in this particular one is to make sure that when you plug in the uh, male uh, that it has the correct um, pole on it. In other words, you want to be sure that the the positive goes into the positive socket and the negative into the negative socket. And what they've done with this is that you'll see a little plus sign. You can't see it here. It's very hard to see, as a matter of fact. A little plus sign. And then um, at, at the other, on the female end, you have something that says tip. <laughs> I have no idea why they have tip, but they do. So you take tip and you align it with the positive thing and just plug it in. Uh, once the whole thing is all wired together, here you can see the wires that are uh, coming out of the uh, monitor. And you have several of them. You have the blue one. You can see that it's over there. And it's, uh, I just, like I said, I looped it around and taped it up. Uh, you can ignore that. And the one that's important is the uh, VGA connector. It's, a, it's an RCA connector. Actually, it goes into the VGA port or the video port. Uh, fortunately, on the Raspberry Pi, the video port is also yellow. So basically, 
you plug yellow to yellow. That makes life very easy. Plug the socket into the wall, and voila, uh, there you have it. And the um, so far the TFT uh, color monitor uh, works pretty well. I think one of the things that you're going to need to do uh, is to work with a resolution. Uh, when you uh, get into the terminal mode, there are different kinds of of views that you have and uh, some of them make reading the uh, text very difficult and so you have to adjust the resolution. I, I adjust it by software. There's probably a hardware way to do it. Uh, and then with the, uh, the monitor I can do a lot of graphics and everything else I want. So um, I uh, have a, a highly recommended uh, to use this monitor with the Raspberry Pi.